Hi, welcome to our action research proposal. We've been working collaboratively as a team to develop intercultural awareness at Bonnie Rig High. We've devised a strategy which we would like to present to you today. My name's Kathleen and we'll be talking about significance of intercultural understanding for Australian education and our vision. My name's Scott, I'll be talking about where we want to be with this program. My name's Elias and I'll be discussing where are we currently now. My name's Juan and we'll be talking about how do we get there and ongoing improvement. And I'm Roseanne and I'll be discussing how we'll know when we've arrived. The school that is being selected for the implementation of this program is Bonnerick High School. The school is catered for years 7 to 12. It is located at the center of Bonnerick with students from the areas of Bonnerick, Mount Pichart, Cabramata West, Ederson Park, St. John's Park and surrounding areas. 47% of students are from the bottom quarter. We have chosen this school as the school holds a very high percentage of students who are from language backgrounds other than English, which is approximately 91%. With the high multicultural diversity of students at Bonnie Rigg High School, there is a strong focus on cultural inclusion and the school complies with the multicultural education policy in providing teaching and learning programs that develop intercultural understanding. In recent years, it is widely recognized the need for students to become global citizens and to develop intercultural competence because of global immigration and the increasing diversity in nation states throughout the world. In Australia, there are increases in multicultural classrooms and schools as a result of increased international migration. Therefore, one key goal of education is to prepare students for an increasingly diverse world and schools are ideal sites for developing positive intercultural relations and preparing students for global citizenship. Thus, intercultural capacities and understandings are a national priority for Australia. And teachers and schools should effectively integrate aspects of intercultural understanding into the teaching and learning strategies as well as school-wide activities. Our vision is to build a program to develop and enhance the intercultural understanding capability for students across stage four groups through engagement of diverse activities. The programs from Bonnie Rigg High School address the cross-curricular priority of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander histories and cultures by including activities on Indigenous art, stories and dance as well as the learning of Chinese language and culture in the Confucius classroom. Students could further develop intercultural understanding through engagement in diverse activities that expose them to different cultures and encourage them to make connections with others and cultivate values such as respect, responsibility and empathy, as these are essential in living with others in the diverse world of today's society. Therefore, we propose a week-long intercultural awareness week for stage four students in the key learning areas of languages, music and food technology in which teachers modify one of their lessons to engage students in activities to explore other cultures. One day will consist of community involvement in which students wear their own traditional cultural clothing and bring food to share with the cohort to encourage new cultural experiences and embrace intercultural understanding. This will also include the involvement of community members and students to showcase their own culture with music and dance presentations. After the project, teachers can reflect on how students responded to the activities and how the faculty members can improve the week-long proposal for future student cohorts. In addressing the question of where do we want to be, our aim is to elevate intercultural understanding through the inclusion of an intercultural awareness week, generating the interest of the community members and school organisations by including their opinions through the delivery of pre and post surveys will effectively provide a basis to shape the design of the Action Research Project proposal. In this particular section, we'll be looking at Bonnie Rick High School and what the school is currently doing to further improve and increase intercultural awareness among students and the wider community. Furthermore, we'll also be exploring the importance of intercultural awareness and understanding in the school and wider community context. And finally, some of the benefits that can be acquired by incorporating intercultural awareness programs. The demographics of Bonnie Rick High School are such that there is a high percentage of students from non-English speaking backgrounds, and there currently does exist a program aimed at increasing intercultural understanding. 
This is a cultural diversity day in which students and staff are encouraged to share traditional food from their cultural background and elements such as dance and costume and activities. Although it can be further improved through incorporating a more diverse range of activities that not only improves the awareness among students and staff, but also their parents and the wider community. We feel that it can be a better experience when we get families and the greater community involved in such activities and provide them with opportunities to really get to learn about intercultural awareness and why it is important. For this section, we'll be exploring the importance of intercultural awareness in schools. To start off with, it provides students, staff and the community with the ability to communicate clearly and effectively with people from a diverse range of backgrounds, whilst also displaying a sense of empathy. Additionally, it also helps in developing emotional intelligence across key areas such as responsibility, respect, open-mindedness and overall awareness. It assists in the growth and understanding of students as it enables them to see the behaviours, attitudes and common practices that are key to living in a diverse community such as the western suburbs of Sydney. Essentially, the primary aim of this proposal, or any proposal, is to provide improvements in a particular area. Here we'll be looking at what research has to say in regards to the incorporation of intercultural awareness programs and activities. First and foremost, it is an opportunity for students to learn about the cultures, beliefs and common practices of others and to learn to value them. Australia is a diverse country with people hailing from many different ethnic and religious backgrounds. Hence, it is vital in order for everyone to feel included in this country that it is essential for people to take the opportunity to learn about the different stories of peoples from all over the world. It, is, it further helps to stir up curiosity in students in the live, by learning about the lives of others and comparing it to their own and to learn to appreciate what we have. Additionally, students can create relationships between their own world and the world of others and see similarities and differences for themselves. In the classroom and workplace, students will be well equipped to effectively communicate with people from different cultural backgrounds and to be able to generate friendly environment for teamwork to take place. Our proposal strategy will include four steps. The initial stage of planning that aims to highlight the views and responses from various stakeholders associated with the school such as parents and community members about their views regarding the team proposal using pre-surveys as the initial stage of gathering project-specific data. Subsequently, school executives, teachers and students will be asked to respond to a pre-survey by voicing their opinions about our team proposal and assess their current knowledge about intercultural understanding. The pre-launch the pre of our proposal will be delivered by informing stage four teachers and students about the premise of intercultural Awareness Week. Consent forms will be provided to those stage four teachers and students for ethical compliance, as well as providing enough notice so that they are able to make alterations to their programs. The third stage is the project launch stage. So this stage will be delivered to signify the implementation of our week-long Intercultural Awareness Week proposal. And the last stage is the initiative will be conducted with post-surveys required from stakeholders associated with the school as well as the targeted stage for teachers and students who have engaged in the initiative. This stage will be used to evaluate the feedback regarding the successfulness or limitations of our project proposal. With our goal of developing intercultural understanding in Stage 4 learners in the Body Rig High community as our top priority, we recommend a two-tiered approach to measure its effectiveness and let us know when we have achieved our goal. The evaluation strategy involves pre- and post-surveys and a focus group. This approach will provide us with both quantitative and qualitative insights into the success of the intervention and provides a way to triangulate the results. In short, this will increase its validity. The surveys will be distributed to each Stage 4 student participating in the program before and after its implementation via SurveyMonkey. 
The questions will be based on a combination of student self-reporting of their improved intercultural understanding and situational judgment questions. The two sets of data will be compared to determine whether students feel more confident in their intercultural understanding skills and can demonstrate and apply these skills. The anonymity of this method will encourage honest responses. Additionally, due to its efficiency, it means that we can survey a larger sample size. Our goal is to achieve an overall improvement of situational judgment responses and self-reported efficacy of 25%. This goal is based on a model by Green from 2015. The second method we will use is a focus group to gather qualitative data on the success of our program. In this, we will ask teachers and students about their beliefs and feelings towards their experience in the program. This method will be semi-structured and provides flexibility, enabling interviewers to further discover more information from participants. There will be three sessions. Each will go for a duration of 60 minutes and we recommend six to eight participants for the study to be effective. This will help us to investigate complex matters that are otherwise difficult to explore in questionnaires. We will also know we have reached our goal when we observe meta-language in the program being applied correctly in the focus groups and an overall improvement in self-efficacy of students and teachers in relation to intercultural understanding. To provide insight into the effectiveness of our action research proposal, our post-survey responses will be compared with the pre-survey responses acquired from stakeholders, as well as the targeted stage four teachers and students who have engaged in our proposal. The targeted teachers will then need to produce a report at the end of Intercultural Awareness Week to reflect on whether their students have responded favorably to the initiative and the intercultural specific lesson tasks. Additionally, our pre and post surveys, targeted teachers will have the opportunity to reflect upon the strengths and weaknesses from our initiative and concur assertions to promote the improvement of the action research project for future implementation. So the results from the initiative will be communicated to the associated stakeholders about the potential strengths moving forward for intercultural understanding and competence gathered for the results of our team initiative. I'll probably do the how do we get there because I did the part on the four steps of our planning our proposal initiative and I'll also do ongoing improvement because I provided the strategies and how we can incorporate feedback into our proposal strategy at the end after we've implemented it. Yeah, I think that also when we put it together that um, you know that implementation graph that you made? I think it's important that we include that because that was a good visual. Yeah. Perfect. I'll do the um, where do we want to be because I actually looked at the scenario, so that might not fit in really well. So I'll have a look at that. Awesome. Yeah, what's called um, where are we now? Um, I think, you know, I'll be able to, yeah, I think I've, that, that, that might suit me. You know, I can get some information before we... Um, go on to where do we, what do we want to do and how are we going to get there. So I'll do, um, I think it's step two, where are we now? Okay, um, then I'll do the first step, um, our vision, because I did the background part, so I'll briefly introduce the school background and um, introduce our vision for our program. Yep. Okay, perfect. So I guess I'll do how do I know when we've arrived. 